else than, than training camp around your fans. And this is where you make a lot of memories happen. Uh, and I know that our, how important it is to our organization and our players. And we're hoping to give them a, a great three or four weeks of camp. Uh, Lindsey, he's, you know, we're working through his uh, contract situation. And uh, so just making sure that, you know, that gets uh, situated here. He's out here doing all the walkthroughs. He's going to be working out, but um, he won't be going full speed till, till that gets situated. Yeah, I mean, we, we've got full respect for, for Derwin, his agent, uh, David Mulligetta, who's one of the best in the business. And I think there's full respect on both sides. And um, they know how much we love Derwin. Derwin knows how much we love him. And we're just working through that process right now. Um, and, uh, you know, we're going to let it take shape. Uh, and, and when it does, he'll be out there playing. Is his shoulder, is his shoulder fully healed? Oh, yeah, 100% clear. Yeah, Derwin's, Derwin's ready to go. So once the contract gets done, he'll be, he'll be, he will be out there. I think before we left for break, um, we were really connected on how we want this training camp to look, and I think that's the advantage of going into your second year with everybody, and I think you could tell by how today went. Uh, it's just so much crisper. There's so much more confidence in what you're doing. Uh, but I took a lot of time this summer and enjoyed my family and tried to make a lot of memories and be around my boys and um, my nieces and um, all the people who are close to me, and um, we were ready for today, and uh, I, I felt like our performance reflected it. Yeah, it, it's you know it's building off what we did in, in, in spring practice, you know, with the with the OTAs and the mini camp, and um, I think that that's the you know your goal as a coach is to have you know your install kind of happen three times before you play, uh, and and that's certainly our goal here. And um, you know I think the one thing after the spring is you get to assess that part of you know your uh, your operation, and then if you need to make a couple adjustments going into training camp, you can. But um, this is out here, guys playing fast and and really playing football for the first time with their helmets on, pads. Mano y mano, going full speed against each other, and that's a big part of coming back. Is just learning how to practice as a team, um, getting used to that physicality. And um, you know, I thought we were off to a good start today. What did you see out of Isaiah, um, he's going to be in a full competition at running back. It's going to be a full competition, uh, and it's going to be. It's not just going to be him as a running back. It's going to be him, him on special teams, um, and it's going to be who can be the most complete running back for our football team. And um, you know, I'm excited to see that competition take shape. There's not a timeline. I know that he's, he's made a lot of progress over the summer. Um, not enough to start camp, but I think that you'll see him at some point during training camp. And he's working hard, and um, he's feeling much closer. Um, but I'm not going to put a timeline on it. I just think that he will be practicing at some point um, in the next you know, four to six weeks. Yeah, Daniel, I think it's a good question. I think it remains to be seen. I think that'll be up to Kenneth. Um, how much you know he is able to take what he knows, you know, obviously in the classroom and in the walkthroughs, and then being able to you know translate it to the football field. But I, I know he's working hard and he's got a good mindset. Brandon, what do you like about your uh, defensive energy on day one, especially with the new guys? Uh, KG yeah, those guys they've, they've played a lot of football, and I think that uh, experience and that production you know breeds a lot of confidence. And, uh, and, you know, I saw a group that was playing together today as a team, and um, that was what we were after today is put together a good team performance in all three phases. And, um, you know, I think, you know, you can be – you can have the right energy when you know what you're doing, you know how to do it and why it's important. And so that's what we're after as a staff is making sure in all three phases that that takes place so you can get the fun and the energy of, of football. Brandon, the right tackle competition with Storm and Trey, obviously you want to know a lot of that's going on. Yeah. But just what is going to decide – yeah, I think consistency and performance, and I think uh, being a complete, you know, tackle, uh, run game, pass game, and um, we're going to get a very accurate, you know, evaluation from them and who they have to block every single day, and and obviously, you know, throughout the preseason and games, um, we're going to have a lot of opportunities to, to to evaluate these guys, and I know that we have confidence in both of them, and it's going to be fun to see these guys compete. Um, and, you know, I think it's not just about them. It's how they play with the other four guys that are on their offensive line and obviously the other, you know, players around them too. So um, they've worked really hard. I think you can see big changes in both of them. And um, they're both confident football players, and um, that's going to bring out the best in both of them. Was today a good indication of, like, how you're going to split the reps up for the two of them? Like, they're both going to get equal opportunity 
Yeah, oh, for sure. Yeah, we're definitely going to get them equal looks um, at it um, so that we can truly figure it out. And, and they both deserve it. They both deserve that chance to truly compete. And, um, you know, I think you'll see a lot more of that as we go. Uh, he's just, he's just wiser, uh, just, um, you know, he's the same, you know, personality wise, but he's wiser. Um, and so there's even more experience to draw from, but, um, that player that was out there today is the player I'm used to seeing. Well, I think that, you know, every year is a new season. Um, I think that we have full confidence in our team and how we do things. And I think each of those things has a life of its own. That's what I said from the beginning. I know uh, that kind of exploded last year. And um, I do think it's a positive thing for our team because, um, you know, we want to be aggressive. We want to have uh, a team that's fearless and um, that's not scared to meet a moment. But, I mean, every decision has a life of its own. And you're going to take it case by case. And we have a brand new team. So to say we're going to do it exactly like we did last year, um, that won't be the case. Coach, as you mentioned, the fourth downs kind of exploded last season. You went back and did your evaluation of the entire season. What was the thing where a couple of things were trying to play out to you that frustrated you about the way Yeah, I mean, I didn't like the way, you know, we finished the season not getting a chance to compete in the tournament. And that's stayed with me ever since I walked across that field in the last game. Um, I like the way we competed as a team in the last four games. Um, but we were one in three, and that's the facts, you know, and we didn't finish our season, um, and I think that we're going to draw um, a lot of lessons from that. Brandon, now with one year as a head coach, just one fourth down, how much will it still be mainly on EPA and the spreadsheet and maybe a little more feel? Now that you've been All of those decisions are about feel. All of them are. They're about mindset. And, and then there's the, there's the math. It's, it's also a part of it, but it's, it's more mindset than, than math. I can assure you that. And um, it's the way that we want to play as a team. Um, and I think that um, we're going to try and get better at as we go. Hey, coach, composition in the defensive line room. Obviously, Joe had a play today. You've got some young guys there. Yeah. Pushing through spots. You've got Jerry, you've got Morgan. Yes. Yeah, Daniel, good, great points. I think a lot of competition um, and, and guys competing for different roles. You know, we normally have five active on game day, um, five or six, and those spots are going to be important, competing for roles and, and what exactly that looks like. You know, we've got four to six weeks to figure it out, and I think we do have some, some good pieces that can play some, some unique roles for us, but that's going to take shape as we go, and we're going to know all that we need to know about these guys when we put pads on and who can sustain that consistency and performance, who can produce and make plays. And um, fortunately for us, you know, we're going to have a great evaluation because, you know, our offensive line is, is one of the top lines in, in football. Yeah, I think we got a bunch of guys that um, really fit well together. I think uh, our ownership, the Spanos family, Tom Telesco, Jojo Wooden, Kevin Kelly, Ed McGuire, like our coaching staff, um, we brought in guys that really love this game, uh, that have incredible makeup as competitors. And normally when you bring people like that together, then you will have that team spirit. You will have a team that believes in one another. And, and, and that's certainly what we're after. Uh, and to see it take shape out here in training camp on the first practice, um, I like that as a coach. And I hope, I, I expect it to continue to grow as we go. Yeah, yeah, they believe in our team. They believe in the Powder Blues, and, and that's, a, that's something that is, uh, you know, your most important job as a head coach is getting your team to believe in what you do and how you do it. And um, I know that our team uh, really believes in playing for the Powder Blues, and, um, you know, and I think our whole organization is why they feel that way. Um, it's not just coaches. It's, it's everybody in our organization that comes together for these guys, and um, we expect that to reflect a performance, um, you know, and uh, I think today was off to a good start. Coach, one more secondary you mentioned was a kind of a key focus that you had, especially with the draft from Tom Brandon Sebastian, as well as some of the other guys that can play today. What are your kind of thoughts on that and uh, the roster kind of TV section specifically, how they do fit? Now, you know how I feel about the secondary. Um, and I feel like in the NFL you can't have enough secondary players. Uh, and I think that we've drafted and, and acquired a lot of really good secondary players that can play a lot of different roles for us. And there's going to be fierce competition at corner, safety, and then all those hybrid roles, star, money, and then in special teams. And, 
you know, when you bring quality DBs together, it's going to bring out the best in um, those guys and, and then our receivers and our team. And I think those guys are going to compete for roles and, and they've got ability and we're going to see if they can be consistent in their performance, uh, those, those young guys. Yeah, toughness, physicality, discipline, consistency of those three things, and then performing, you know, under pressure uh, when we go against different people. All right, thanks, Coach. All right, guys. Thanks, Brandon. Oh, guys, have a good day, guys. Yeah, day one went well. There was a lot of energy out of our guys, and, um, you know, it's always tough spending so much time away from the facility, away from your teammates, but uh, it was good to have everyone back out there today, and uh, everyone looked good, sharp, so there's a lot to look forward to. How was your time off? It was good. It, it went by pretty fast, and, um, you know, thankful to, to be back here and working out and, and lifting and doing all these things that, uh, you know, we love around here, and uh, just great to see all the teammates and staff and um, just excited to get back to work. Justin, what lessons were learned from the way you ended the last season? Uh, you know, you, you just have to compete and you have to execute when it matters most. And, you know, unfortunately, we fell short of that. But uh, I think we have the team and uh, definitely the pieces. And it's all about how we come together and, and, and work as a team. So, um, you know, I, I'm looking forward to the challenge, of, of course. But uh, a lot of great guys here, for sure. What's it like coming to the airport now? I think it's second nature and doing this since weeks off. You can look at last season's film. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's a major advantage for us having – the same offense for the second year and, and going into this camp and having a year of film to look back and uh, to kind of study and go through is, is so helpful. And, uh, you know, we're miles ahead of where we were at this point last year. And so now we're, we're focusing on things that are maybe a little more tough or challenging to, to tackle during an offense. But uh, I think we're, we're well where we need to be right now. I don't know. I'm, I'm still experiencing the young, you know, the young aspects of playing in the NFL. So I've, I've got a lot to learn, but uh, hopefully a lot of room for improvement as well. Is this the first time since high school that you've had the same offense? Um, my junior and senior year at Oregon, we had the same offense. Um, so that was the last time. Has you had a lot of personal success in your few years as a quarterback in the NFL? Do you feel pressure now to get some team success that you got to the playoffs get a win this year? There's no pressure on us. You know, the only pressure that you make is, is what you make of it on yourself. And, uh, you know, I think as a team, we've, we've got the pieces. We've got the, the athletes and competitors. Um, as long as we're doing our best and, and we're asking each other what we want to do ourselves, um, you know, I, I don't think there's much more that you can ask of. Sorry, could you re rephrase that? In terms of like, uh, there's been the debate, debate about how much a quarterback, how much a win-loss record should matter on a court for a quarterback's record. Yeah. What, do you think it's fair to, to measure quarterbacks that way, or is it just given the nature of football, it's not really right? Personally, I don't measure quarterbacks that way. I think it's a team game, and, and as long as we're playing the Chargers versus any team, um, you know, that's what matters most. And it's an offense, defense, and special teams game that it goes into it. And um, you can definitely look at that, I think, but uh, I think for the most part, it's all about the team. Gerald's very athletic. Uh, he's a guy that's really able to create separation pretty easily, um, and, and we've seen that over the you know the couple of months that we've been together, and just throwing with him and, and getting all the timing as as you would with a receiver. Um, you know, he's an incredible athlete, and we've seen that in the in the weight room uh, out on the field. So I'm looking looking forward to throwing to him. Uh, a lot of it is footwork. Um, you know, I, I think all the drops that tie into the routes, uh, three step, five step, seven step, and being smooth in your progression and going through all the reads. Um, you know, I, I thought the defense was really good last year, and so you know the pieces they added this year, um, it's really exciting to watch. And um, you know, the edge rushers are going to be a little difficult to, to deal with sometimes during practice, um, but uh, it's a fun challenge, and looking forward to it. How does Zion fit into your offense? Hopefully, at right guard. <laughs> um, no, he's he's done an incredible job, and you know he's picked up the offense really quickly. So uh, I'm looking forward to to watching him progress and uh, continuing to mature. 
Uh, it's always competitive. You know, we've, we've done a good job the past two seasons of, of keeping it competitive. And uh, those guys on the defense, Derwin, led by Kyle Van Noy, you know, Khalil, they're always competitive. And, and they, J.C. Jackson as well. And, um, you know, they force us to be better. And as long as they're doing that, you know, we, we feel like we can help each other out. Personal goal is just to be the best quarterback and teammate that I can be. Um, I, I try not to look too much into statistics. I think that can kind of skew or, or throw you off from what you're trying to accomplish. But as long as I'm working hard and doing the right things on and off the field, um, I think we'll be in good shape. How do you feel about hearing the Pats They were cheering for Cleo Mack, actually. So. <laughs> All right, thanks, Justin. Thank you. How y'all doing? How's, the, uh, how's it feel to be here, be part of a team that's such a high expectations? And, uh, you know, tell us what you're, how you feel your role is going to be on the squad. Uh, first off, it's always a blessing, man, when you get to play this game, game of football. I love this game, man, and um, to have the, the, like you said, have the talent that we have out here. Uh, it starts with this. It starts with the work. And so uh, my Expectations for myself are always high. You know what I mean? I'm I'm not going to display or tell what they are, but I, I, I expect you guys to be able to see it when I touch the field. You know what I mean? What type of leader would you say you are? Uh, I'm a guy. I don't, I don't like to talk much. I like my actions to speak. And uh, I like to I like for guys to follow me based on what they see, what they see me doing. How are you feeling physically? Good, man. I'm blessed. First day out. It's been fun. It's a fun day. It was a fun day for me. Are you going to have to deal with anything with the foot just as far as phasing yourself back in? I know Brandon had mentioned that. Or are you completely past that? I mean, if you, you, you want to talk to him about that, we, you can talk to him about that. But for me, I'm not going to tell you. Was it a normal first day of training camp for you maybe compared to past years? Say that again? Was it a normal first day of training camp for you maybe compared to past years in terms of um, what you were able to do? I mean, I feel like training camp is training camp. Um, Normal is normal, I guess. I'm not sure what you meant by that, but. Just normal amount of work was that you need. Oh, uh, yeah, I mean, just kind of getting the feel for things and getting in the groove of things. It's normal day. Yeah. With the week one matchup being your former team, uh, is that first game going to be returning the back? <laughs> he said the first game going to be returning the back. Um, dang, I wouldn't expect you to say that last part. <laughs> Uh, no, nah, man, it's just another game, but uh, that's what everybody say, right? Just another game, but uh, I mean, it's another game, and I'm playing against some guys that I know, and it's fun, man. It's fun. The game of football is fun, man. And uh, yeah, we're going to talk a little trash, but that's what we do. You talk about being disruptive, being disruptive. Yeah. Inside. Yeah. Is that a mindset? Is that a mentality? Or does it start here just getting everybody in practice on the same court? That's that's the thing. Yeah, it always starts here, man. Um, you create habits out here on the field, on the practice field. Uh, a lot of people say switches and turning it on, but it all starts out here, man. That's why I am doing what I'm doing as far as this process, just jumping out there and getting, getting the feel of things early rather than later. That's the thing, man. It's a new, it's a new season. I, I didn't feel any. I didn't feel. I was disappointed in Chicago. So coming out here, I didn't feel any disappointment. I felt excited. I felt excited for a new opportunity and uh, just knowing the potential. But uh, just getting, getting to this, getting to what really matters: the, the work and um, the camaraderie, and you know what I mean, communication and feeling how it's gonna feel out on Sundays before we get there. You know what I'm saying? When you're That's the thing. Uh, everybody's going to tell you this time of the year that sky's the limit and championship and all that. But I see it as one day at a time, you know what I'm saying, taking it one day at a time and working together and, and being the best, get, getting better every day. And I feel like that will take care of itself once we get to that point. Yeah. I mean, it's dope, man. It's dope, man. It's starting with Giff, man. Um, another great leader. Uh, he a fun dude, but uh, when it comes when it comes down to work, uh, we work, we work, and uh, he does some things that's 
very impressive. And you can see it with Joey and everybody communicating about what they want to do and what, what they want to feel for that day. Uh, it's, it's different and it's unique, and um, I'm looking forward to it. What are your goals personally? You would ask me that if I said I wasn't going to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> but, no, nah, uh, personal goals for myself, I, I feel like uh, up until this point in my career, I've accomplished things, but uh, ultimately you want to get you want to get to a Super Bowl and you want to win it, and that's the only thing in my mind at this point in my career. How long or difficult of a process is it just with defense as you've been involved in in the past? Because there could be five, six new starters on the team, just yeah. getting everything together and being set by game one. Uh, I mean that speaks to the professionalism of the guys that they sign. You know what I mean, um, including myself. Uh, understand the defense is, is is what we do. You know what I mean? It's part of what we do. And so coming in and learning a new defense, it's, it's some learning curves and some things, but uh, ultimately it's about playing fast and doing what we, we get paid to do. Cause the turnovers and green, uh, cause the turnovers is something that you have a propensity to do. Yeah. Is that something that you can teach your teammates or do you just want to continue to show them just how it, and have them follow you with your example? Again, it starts with the habits, man. Um, going after the ball and raking at the ball and punching at the ball. Uh, it's just little things that kind of translate to the game and everybody ends up doing it during the game. And that's how that's how you create those habits. Brandon told us that Derwin's working through some contract stuff, obviously. But how, how excited are you guys with the defense to you know, have him back out there and training camp 11 on 11? I mean, definitely going to be excited when that happens. But obviously, business has to come first in this situation. So it is what it is. We all been there. Yeah, you say who? Justin. Your oh, Justin. Okay. Yeah, yeah. What's, that, what's that gonna look like for opposing this I feel like uh, that's what great players do. They always find things that maybe they're not so good at, and um, yeah, just to think a guy like that that already has great footwork. You're talking about he, he's perfecting it. It's it's a great thing to hear. Uh, competitive nature. That's natural. That's natural. That's what we do. Um, that's a knack. If if you're not competitive, then nobody gets better. You know what I mean? Uh, and that's how I see the game. You know what I mean? Uh, competing, competing, and iron sharpening iron. That's what it's all about during this process. So when Sundays come, whoever they play against on the offensive side, it should be easier. How hungry, how hungry are you after stops with the Raiders and the Bears, where you know the teams didn't win as much as maybe they could have? You say how how hungry? How hungry? How hungry? You want to know how hungry I am? I'll show you. Appreciate it.